Hello everyone, welcome back on Nestle Mango channel guys. I'm Ramke Singh, Unity game developer, YouTuber and blogger. So friend, in this vision tutorial, what we are going to learn, we are going to learn about the physics simulation on the network. So in last part, we just learned about the learn about kinematic bullet that was just going. There was no any effect of the physics. But in today's video, we are going to see that how we can uh, implement the physics thing. So here you can see video we implemented like we are able to shoot the bullet. And in this video, what we are going to do, we are clicking on the right click on the mouse and here you can see we are able to perform the physics ball you can say physics bullet you can see that physics is getting applied on the bullet so that's why our ball is getting down whenever we are shooting so let's start the today video if you're new on the channel make sure to subscribe the channel if you have not watched previous tutorials so please go and watch if you have any questions so let me know and after completion of this tutorial i will provide the source code on my patreon page so make sure that you have check out so let's start the today video here we have done so much tutorial in last part we learned about bullet spawn and as well as here is my patreon page so if you have not uh, check out me please check out here you will get the link as well as also you will get my source code or tutorial so just go and check out and just you can buy and use your application so let's get back to the unity so now what we need so basically we have to make a setup same like last one so create new game object and give the name that is we are going to apply on physics so just use physics x by default position you can do 0 0 so basically it is going on the network so you can add network rigid body so you can see we are whenever we are so when i'm searching here network rigid body so we are not able to getting for the physics what we have to do is just we have to go on the photon and here you can see there is a thing that is the fusion add-ons give us the physics thing basically just add physics and import you can do same with this so let's do it so now we are able to use the get the add-ons basically physics add-ons help us to just implement the physics in the kinematic ball we have not to do that much in same in the physics we have to not do that much according to documentation it is expensive process to use the physics on the network basically also work in the same like host to client basically it all the thing perform on the host and client follow so basically go back and add network rigid body here you can see we are able to see the component so just add this one and whenever you add this one so here you can see rigid body is also getting attached and here add network object because you are need network object so just do it. now we got the network object okay great now what we need so we need a and basically on the parent you have to apply these settings network rigid body 3d and all so you have to apply on the parent and here to use 3d that is the spare and reduce this size to 0.2 like this last one and position is already there here the spare collider so just remove this one and go on the physics and add collider that is the sphere so just do it and this is a very in the size it is very big so use 0.1 so now it is on great size here is on the physics x so one reference that is the interpolation target so it is not a compulsory to use always but if you are using on the parent so that's okay so if you are using for simple so you can just give the target if there is any one object and that's it we are able to set the physics x and uh, now it's time to create the material so that uh, we know that which looking we have so basically what you can do this was the red so for this you can give the orange color and now it is set so basically just go on a spare and drag and drop now we got the material and just for to differentiate that we have potentiated anything and here is a prefab so you have to do same thing just go on the physics x and drag and drop here but also we need one script so just go in the fusion script and type physics x bullet okay so you can just similarly you can do go on the physics x on physics x you have to apply the same script and that is the here you have to apply on the prefab so just to apply all and now you can delete this one so let's get to the physics x and basically the script is same like last tutorial there is a basic difference that is the we are using the physics thing so at that time we have to just add the velocity you can just copy paste everything uh, but uh, the better way to learn is just to because in the learning you have to always type because you learn so much thing if by using that by just typing so use the fusion here and this is the mono behavior what we want would be the network behavior so, okay nothing difference in last tutorial and here what we need we need a network time control basically you can call so you can use that is a time so here is 
tick timer and that is the live and it is similar to last time so basically you get and set and what we need another thing that is the is getting instantiate so we need a timer that will run so for running it we have need one method we created in lat that is the init in init we need direction so vector 3 basically in which direction we want to perform our movement so that is the forward so this is the light and what we need basically we have to timer and then we need create from seconds so just use create from second and here we have to pass the runner in which runner we are running and here is the time okay great and another important thing is just we need get we are using the physics so we need rigid body just use reduced body velocity and give the forward direction whatever we got okay great we have done so many stuff here on the ball on the physics bullet now it's time to get data now from the host so basically what we need so we need fun that is the override one that is the fixed network update and basically it is a tick that is uh, running uh, in just every loop what we need so basically we want to basically we want to despawn our uh, ball whenever it complete its uh, life cycle means it is five seconds so basically we have to use if and that is the life and that is the expired and basically we are just passing here runner means in which runner it is getting expired and if it is expired so we are using despawn and which object so for this object we use object we are using the runner so basically so basically we we have to use runner and then despawn and which object this object okay great so now we have done and everything is same as the last part the difference is this one okay great now if you want to take that we are clicking on button from the mouse we need to go in the input data and same thing we have to do just click control d and we here we have to pass one and here we have to pass two so that's it for the network input data basically it will get that we have click on the two button from the mouse okay now we have to go in the basic spawner and we have to also make changes so here you can see that is the boolean that is for zero so we have to do it is the one and same thing you have to copy and first duplicate this one and here you have to paste one thing it is for mouse and this is for one so we need that was the zero for left or uh, one for right so this was the for the update hope you get and next thing we need add structure to the host so same thing will be here Just copy here and paste here and here we have to change that is the zero will go replace with one okay great and now here we have to also make false that is the one so now we have done changes in the basic spawner now it's time to on the player escape basically uh, the bullet physics will be spawned the player so we have to check it's the last time that if player have been spawned and before getting update player have to call that script that is the physics bullet so that it's start his timer so what we have to do go in the player we need one prefab just duplicate this one and currently the name is physics x bullet so just do it and that is the bullet but you can add phx okay great and here what we have to do so everything have been retained in last tutorial what we done for the kinematic ball so same thing we have to do just we have to change little that is the whenever we are passing so we have to give some value you can see if it's from this point so give some space and here we have to just select all copy and then here we have to paste. basically that is the if at that time we have to else add else part and here is the bullet so basically we have to add that is the physics here we have to pass the physics bullet prefab and here is everything is okay and now we need init method so here we have to use that is the physics x bullet so now we have changed the script here now init method is showing some error means it need a direction so we are giving the same direction what was we are getting means where we are moving that direction we have to give so that getting is instantiate on that direction it move in same that whenever we are getting move so in that direction it have to go so basically we have to pass forward just add this forward and uh, you have to just multiply by some value so that it move forward we can notice and 
the forward thing we are getting in last tutorial i've told you that here is the data dot direction and square magnitude so basically it giving the direction and in that direction if we are getting a value more than zero so at that time we are getting this value one last thing we have to do the basic spawner we have to add component on runner here you can see that network runner is getting added network runner here we have to add one line that will give us to functionality where we can use the physics thing. game object basically we have to use this line of code that is the runner simulate physics 3d just control s so now we are in the project go to prefab and here is our that is the network player prefab so go here and here you have to pass that is the physics x ball and control s now we have to just run our build that we can test so just run it so just click right so we are able to spawn this ball and whenever we are clicking on our right so i just run the code but that was not working we have made the mistake in the copy paste because uh, we no, don't need two times here you can see in the if we have added two times so basically uh, we don't need two times basically it is the same thing so just remove one so just remove last curly braces and then this one else okay. so now here is the else here we are checking the click of the button here is the has authority okay so basically we have to write this code inside here control x and basically get this place and paste so basically we have to check once that we are in the authority to pass the input so that is the host and at that time we just need the button click in if and else if so i was mistaking that just copy from here and then make else so that was not working so don't make this silly mistake and uh, it is okay to uh, make mistake because to learn something so just go back here and just run your build so that we can check on the multiplayer so make it run so let's host from here and let's join from here oh so now we are able to instantiate our player let's get back here let's click this one so it's working let's click right Ooh. so here you can see the physics is getting applied okay so the frequency is very high and same thing you can do here moving so in which direction i'm moving on the basis of that it is getting instantiated so that's really looking cool so that's it and thanks for watching have a good day see you in next video bye bye take care